Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And as you, if you look at the bottom corner here, I have been doing a little bit of AFK, well not necessarily AFK, just watching things go around and watching the money roll in, uh, which is really good. And if you also pay attention to these these tanks here, they are full, which means we need to start producing a little more. Uh, another thing I'd like to do today is I'd also like to start researching all three of these items. Uh, and, uh, research the refined iron, refined gold, and refined coal. Uh, we will set up a separate building for that, but uh, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to pause it because I might have to move a few things and I don't want to uh, disrupt production. But what, we're, what I'm going to do is I do have another port on the side here. Now, I don't think I'll actually need three systems for all of them, but uh, I've got two systems set up on the iron. I'm definitely going to be putting a third in here, but I might may or may not do three for the gold and not coal. So what I want to do is first I want to see, okay, we're doing one every 11 seconds on the iron. On the coal, we're doing one every 10. So apparently we're getting more coal then. And let's go check on the gold quickly. I think the gold might still be 11. 13. Okay. Well, definitely the coal. But with me, may as well. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to ramp things up a little bit. And I, it seems I have just put enough space in between my machines to actually get this set up. And I want to make sure I can get it set up with the first one here. So the crater does actually have uh, three inputs, one on the back, one on each side. So you can have, I can have it coming from the side or from the back and go like that. And then I put another refiner there. And then we're going to do the same thing with the step conveyors and the conveyor... I can't remember the name of it now. The transfer claw. Yes. It had nothing to do with it. It didn't have conveyor in the name at all. So the same thing. We take the conveyor. We'll come down to about here. We do need to keep a space for it. And we'll just do it right here. And we'll just drop it on this line. Like so, so that is set up, and then we're going to do the same thing over here. Uh, well, actually, on all three of them. Gonna do one there, one there, one there, and there. And this is why it's good to have money. It's also a good thing to pause the game when you're doing it, in case you lose money too fast for whatever reason. You know, bills, they do come in. Okay, so now we just repeat what we did. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly get this all done and I'll bring you back. Okay, it is all done. Let's let her go. Now, I did spend a lot of money to do this, but we're basically oh, pretty much tripling our output and already we're going to have stuff coming out, which means that these drones aren't going to be staying around. There's not going to be trucks sitting empty. And just because it's time for some more drones because we're going to need them. And then what we'll do while that's going, we'll start getting our research facility set up. So what I've done, I don't know if you noticed, I actually had this going the wrong way. I want them all going towards the center, so like a central collection point. Uh, but this one here was on this side, and I had the conveyor going the other way. So I switched it around, put the conveyor on this side, because this is how we're going to get uh, the resources to research facility yes we're gonna use claws uh i haven't just really decided where i want to get everything set up i might keep the research base here uh we will have to do another factory so we'll do that we'll keep this one blue because it's gonna be research actually we'll do green for research what color did we do there i don't know I think we did orange okay uh yeah we'll do green for research then do that trying to think of what we really need. We just need an area to transfer stuff. We're just going to be... We're going to need a couple of tanks. Don't mind the buzzing. That's just my phone. Uh, right here should be good. do need to get a few tanks. And we'll go with that. And that should work. Oh, yeah. I'm still running. I thought I had paused it. Anyway, uh, let's grab a pole, connect it there, make sure it's on the corner. And now we go 
ahead and get some doors in here. Alright, so they're going to come in from this side here, so we'll do one there. One there, and... Sure, one there. I think I got them in the wrong spot, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now, this is where the, cl the claws come in. Uh, yeah, start here. So I'm going to start over top of here. Actually, what am I do? Because I'm only taking one box. Actually, I do have to go this way. I have to make sure that the cloth comes out. All right, so this one is going to obstruct the other one. Because of the supports. Okay, I'll do that one. Do it that way for now. And then another one comes down here. And then we're going to take another one off of this conveyor and come down here. Actually, you know what? That will fit. And just because I actually want to see the three tracks next to each other, we'll take this out. Like so. And we'll go back to the, the rail. And I'll come across here like so. They cancelled each other out. Is that kind of fall when I unpause it? Yeah, I, I know there's no physics in the game. But anyways, then we do a pick up here, here, and here. It's only going to be one claw on this track because we don't really need to research that much. So the first one. Can't build here, why not? Oh, because I'm not in line with the door. That's why. Let's actually take rid of, get rid of that. But you have the idea of what I'm trying to do here. So let me get this taken care of, and I, I'll bring you back. Okay, so there we go. So then from here, we're going to have drop-off locations. One there, one there, and one there. We're going to get to a, a load station. Now, this is where you're going to see why these things are... I guess you could see why they're so expensive. They do have a bit of a, a small feature that I didn't even know about. Oh, hold on, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah, we got to continue this on. That should do. I realize I made this building a little bit bigger than it should have been, but uh, it gives us room to bring other stuff into research if we need to. Okay, so from here, we're going to take a, a holding tank, and this is just for holding purposes. I'm going to put it next to it, and I realize now... that I definitely built this wrong. Actually, you know what I can do? I'm going to move things closer together and I'll bring you back. Okay, that's a little better. I might be able to get something else in here, but at least that's room. Oh, I forgot to move the claw tracks. Hold on. Okay, hold on. And yeah, I'm just putting a drop off on the end here. And then at the end here, end of the conveyor line, we do an unload station. Now, the unload station will actually dispose of empty crates, basically destroying them. Uh, if the crates are full, it won't do anything, but if they're empty, then it, get, it destroys them and allows the crate maker to make more. So on this side here, we do an intake. And what that's going to do is basically what's going on is the claw's picking up a crate from here, bring it all the way over here, and I'm going to drop it on the load station. It's going to go down the conveyor. Uh, these actually do work with the step conveyors, not the load and unload stations. So that's going to actually suck the resources into here. Then what we do from here is we put an output on the tank, and we have a minecart going to the research facilities. Uh, the research bays, I'm wondering where I should put them. Like I know we, we can do more stuff somewhere else. So we'll actually just have them coming right out the back here. One there, one there, one there. Uh, go to research bays, which are going to be a little bigger now. Uh, as far as this goes, like I was talking about how they have to be in proximity of each other. Uh, not the first one. Once I build the first one, then I have to be within, within range. 
and I might have them close like this, so just so they can share power. Uh, they're not going to be in line with our system, but that's fine. Okay, then so from here, we take our input pipes. If I place them the right way. Um, that's not right. What's going on here? I think it was zoomed out too far. Okay, uh, it's just a matter of getting some minecart tracks in there. Uh, like so. One there. We'll do another one. Insufficient funds. Oh. Oh, I guess we're going to have to let a truck go through. A couple of trucks, anyways. I still got to buy claws, too. How expensive for those tanks? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't realize that. Anyway, we'll go back to our minecart track here. Pause it while we have some money. Spend it while we can. If we don't take it, someone else will. Okay, and then one there, and then the other one there, just like so. And that is pretty much it. Add one cart there, one cart on this track, one cart on this track. Make sure they do have power. Oh yeah, the warehouse doesn't have power. Actually, it does. What's going on here? I guess it doesn't take, get power through the building. That's a shame. So we'll do that. And we'll just do it that way, I guess. Give me my money back. All right. Oh, yeah. That's the only thing that's left to do now is get the claws on there. Now, I think I mentioned this before. Yeah, it's just going to be one claw because we're only taking one crate at a time. We don't need to mass produce this stuff. 2,000, wow, those things are expensive. I just gotta wait for one more truck to leave. There we go. All right, so that is that. So now let's open everything up and get an idea of what's going on. Oh, wow, we have a whole bunch already backlogged. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pay attention to things. All right, well, let's let it go. So as you can see, they're bringing the, the raw resources now. That is going to be taken in straight up coal. That's going to be going into that mine cart and go into here and be researched. At least it should. Hmm, I wonder if I have to go sideways with this. Let me put it down the side. Oh, I can't even do that. Let me figure something out. Okay. So that is the reason it has to come in sideways. Or does it? That one's actually filling up too. Okay, maybe not. But yeah, as I was saying about the crates, you can watch this one. Watch what happens when the empty crate hits the unload station. It disposes of it which I thought was really cool. So then that means everything should be researching then. I think, okay, there, did take it. Guess it needs a specific amount. Oh, I, what did I hit? Oh, I was hit Q. There we go, so we're actually researching straight up coal. So if we go to our research here, uh, oh yeah, because we have to actually claim the research. But that's going for that, that's going for the iron. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Confused about the light buildings. Yeah, or the building lights. I was thinking that if it was black, it had nothing researched, but only when it's actually processing research it glows, and then when you have research you can claim it goes blue. So yeah, I didn't actually have to change this up like this. It does 
it is working. So that is that. Now let's see how the the factory situation is doing. Let's check our numbers. Twenty one seventy eight. I do have to keep in mind too that I'm taking resources for research. Hopefully the drones can grab it before the claws do. That's no, not too bad. So I'm gonna let this go for a few minutes, and I'll bring you back, and we'll see what our month, our three month total is. Oops, I forgot to connect, make sure it was connected. Okay, things are moving smoother. I got drones holding boxes, waiting for trucks. The belts are filling up. So what I think we're gonna do is we're actually gonna spend some of that research. Uh, we are gonna go over here, and we're gonna increase truck speed, truck intervals. Um, one more. How much is the drone speed? 100,000. Hmm. I think maybe just more drones. Where do I have my drones? Let's, let's put another drone bay over here. Like so. And then four more drones. No, oh, we can't place you there. Hey, make me money. All right, we're producing. And let's see, we got six gold, uh, coal, four iron, and eight gold. But yeah, as far as the uh, research goes, the research will actually give you research points according to its actual cell value. So researching. Uh, iron ore, for instance, pays 1,079 points per crate, whereas if you refine it, it pays 1,511 points. So it does work out. Uh, the gold, as you can see, 1937 for the gold itself, but the gold ore is only 1,171. Basically, more research for more research for your resource. There's something to try to save five times fast. But yeah, let me let this go, and uh, we'll see how she looks in a few months. Oh yeah, by the way, I added a third claw to the system and extended track because it was backing up. As you can see, it's still backing up. So maybe even uh, even if maybe even a claw speed upgrade might help. It's not even speed. Oh, there's speed right there, fifty thousand. You know what? Let's do it. It's only ten percent, but hey, it's it's an extra ten percent. Look at that money rolling in. Anyway, I'll be back. My, I'm having a good day today. Can you see what's wrong with this picture? I was trying to figure out why I had more than one thing in the research bay. Apparently, I'm not actually refining on this one. Anyway, I'll fix that. By the way, we're 3,000 kilos. Well, it's looking like this might be it. I ended up putting another claw on the coal line because that was starting to back up quite a bit because that stuff gets uh, processed awfully fast. 38.55, let's see if we can do this. Three more trucks going out. These are 10 kilos a piece apparently. That's 180 going out. Can we make it for a month end? Come on, two more trucks. One more, one more. And there we go, we got our 4,000. So that is, oh, let's leave that going. That is for the claw truck. Claw truck, truck loader, or claw track truck loader. Uh, I still need another five more coal for it, so I'm gonna let this go for a little bit longer. This process it's actually going pretty good. And the reason why I had to get another uh, another claw in there not only because it was building up in here, and it's still building up, so I could easily get another one on there and just get more product out. But the drones were taking all the coal before the claw could, so I wasn't able to research anything. Uh, something I might look at doing in the next episode too uh, is maybe moving this conveyor line over right up to the wall and get another system in here just because like it's just so much the tra trains leaving half full it's going to pick up and there's still more there uh, this stuff doesn't process the fastest it's 11 seconds whereas the coal was 10 seconds that's why we get more of that and the gold is 13 but if I actually get power to the building or water. No, it's actually power 
consumption. I thought there was something about machines being water, getting water. I guess not. Oh, I guess that was just for the miners. Yeah, that was for the the fracking. So you can basically double the output. But right now we're bottlenecking just for, with what we have here. So that's something I can do. I can get the iron going more. Coal went awfully quick. Let's actually see how our surplus is doing. Maybe this could be better. But that's fine. I think I actually have... Let me get over here. I think that's all coal right there. Five of them. So we can always get more. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, look at that. I've been rambling on long enough. And I apologize for the the screen moving so much when I rotate because I think I mentioned it before it tends to rotate around the center part and I'm technically zoomed in on like this track here so it rotates around that but there we go we are almost done uh, let's actually see how much gold I need to research for some of this stuff uh, 100 for the waterworks that's going to be the next one because that's going to get us uh, better yielding there's farming, but we gotta get into oil for that. Oil, we need gold fuel. I don't know how to make that. Uh, gold, oh. coal and gold in a combiner. I don't have the combiner, do I? No, I don't. Where do I get that from? Right there. Iron or coal. So I guess I keep researching for the coal. We need 6,000 output, which we've, okay, now we're actually doing really good, 4,200, wow, amazing how things changed after I did things right, all right, well, let's clean this research, and there we go, so that we have that, we can now go ahead and unlock this for 150,000, we've met the demands, we've got our refined coal and our weight, Okay, and this is not working. Why? I got the coal. I got the, the thing. I have the research points. Oh. I have to go down the road. Down the road. Uh, the tree. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And now we can unlock that. Alright, so that's just basically uh, ensuring that claw, tra claw Trains, which is this here, uh, has a full load. But that's besides the point. That's not what we're here for. We are here for... Truck Loader. We can get bigger trucks? Really? Where? Where? Well, unless that's actually for trains as well. Hmm. Nah. We'll hold off for now. We need we need our drones, right? Gotta give them something to do. Look at that. A half million half a million credits already. A million bucks but I think this could be a good place to call it here we finally got our research going that's a little bit big of a warehouse for what we're doing but like I said I can always get another another one or the two of these in here and the only reason why it has to be of any size is because we need this tank to be able to do this just because it's coming from the crate it's coming out of the, the refinery in a crate and so we have to process the crate that's why we do it this way but anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.